Hello and welcome back to Let's Develop Code Hunt. In the last episode I finished the first five tasks of Sector 2 and now we're going to continue with the sixth task. Which is actually completely different from the tasks we've seen before, but we're still in a loop sector so it's probably loops we're going to, uh, to use to solve this problem. Despite the fact that for the last task we actually got a better skill rating for our code when we when I uh, resolved to use uh, recursion instead of loops, but maybe one of you comes up with a with a loop solution that gets the full skill rating. Anyways, now we have a problem here where we get in a string value and we're supposed to return an integer. And from the two test cases I get here, my first guess is that this is actually the number of a's in the string. Because, I mean, there's six a's here. I'm supposed to return six, and there's two a's here, and I'm supposed to return two. So, what am I going to do? I want to try something that's not a not a strict uh, not a strict loop solution just to see if I get uh, full skill points for that here as well. So I'm going to do the following. I'm going to replace all the A's by nothing and then I'm going to compare the string length or get return the difference between the string length and the temp length which should be exactly the number of a's so let's see what happens here this takes actually quite a long time might be my internet connection might be that I uh, confronted this symbolic execution logic with some serious task here. Maybe we'll figure out in a couple of seconds. I hope so. If not, this is going to be a really, really boring episode. But supposing that I was right about the the logic I'm supposed to implement with this code fragment, so just counting the number of A's. Oh! Okay, I'm just going to continue my thought and then I'm going to comment about what just happened. Uh, suppose that I was right with my general assumption about the logic I'm supposed to implement here. It shows, in my opinion, that it's much easier to figure out some logic if there's some more contextual information, some more visible information because for the arithmetic stuff in the last episodes it took me quite a long time sometimes and I needed many 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 uh, tests to actually figure out the concrete function whereas now it was pretty easy to see the schema uh, because there was some more descriptive information like the strings, the strings that actually um, yeah, contain, contain more information than a single number. Uh, now continuing to my current situation, this is pretty messed up because I don't get any results at all. Um, I'm just going to try to recapture that and it seems to be reproducible. So somehow with this I managed to mess up the symbolic execution logic. I'm not sure why. It may be because, uh, as far as I know, in the background, this is uh, translated to C sharp code. Actually, maybe I can see that. Can I see that? Yes, I can actually see that. Um, so th this whole game is actually based on C sharp, and the Java is just a, a front end, just a just a kind of syntactic sugar in the background. Uh, uh, the game translates all the Java code into C sharp code and uses this. So maybe it's actually a problem with the C sharp code here in the background. But uh, I'm not 
not going to go into depth now. Maybe I report back to Microsoft and see what they what they tell about this problem. Anyways, uh, this will return you to your Java code. Yes, that's why I pressed switch your Java code. Uh, we remember where you are in C Sharp and you can return at any time. Nice, uh, thanks. Hey! So we actually reset my Java code. Thanks, guys. Thanks. This is really nice. Okay. Anyways, um, let's do this with a loop. So we have an int which is number of a's, which is zero, and then I'm going to loop. There's I cannot iterate over strings on the new loop style, I think. So I'm going to do this in the old-fashioned way. I smaller s dot length i plus plus, and then if string char at i equals a, I'm going to set number of a's plus plus and a return number of a's. Let's see. Can you handle this one? Hopefully. Yes, it solved this task. That's right. And it captures the code. But apparently you consider this to be really ugly. So I'm going to put some more time into thinking of a cleaner solution. I'm going to keep trying. Okay, so at least I got the problem right. So what I'm going to try is the same I did in the for the last um, for the last task actually. So if the string is empty, I'm going to return zero else if uh, this is not going to be nice but let's try this if the string starts with an A I'm going to add a 1 here else I'm going to add a 0 here I need one more brace and I add to this the puzzle recursive call of s substring 1 is the right syntax I think let's see whether that works or not no it doesn't so there's something wrong about the uh, about the syntax here and now we can actually see that uh, it translates my code and then does the compilation because it says now that there is a curly brace at line 5. Uh, ah, okay, no, no, sorry, I, I'm talking bullshit. There is a curly brace at line 5. So let's see. This is supposed to be 1 if the string starts with an A and 0 otherwise. And this is supposed to be a recursive call. Ah, okay. <laughs> I just forgot the semicolon. Sorry, sorry. I was just blurting out bullshit. Happens. String does not contain a definition for is empty, and no extension method is empty excepting a first argument of type string could be found. Okay, but now we see what I wanted to uh, say earlier. It's actually compiling, uh, translating this to C-sharp and then executing is because the concept of extension method does not exist in Java at all, but actually exists in, uh, in, in C-sharp. So let's choose an alternative format and say string length equals zero should be equivalent. Okay, it's again taking a long time, but this time it runs, and with a little bit of luck, 
it also captures the code, but still I'm not I'm not at the highest uh, highest level of skill rating. So I'm going to keep trying for a bit. Was it clever enough? Oh, I was clever enough to copy the old one. So I have now two solutions that both achieved two out of three in the skill rating. I actually consider the second one much better because it's much more readable and you can figure out what it's doing quite easily, whereas the the first line, the return statement is somewhat shorter, but it's also more confusing. It's more more like what the old C hackers used to do, write everything in one line because then it looks better and then it proves that I'm cooler. But um, it's not readable at all. Anyways, um, other solutions to this problem. The question is whether it's even possible to uh, to find all to get all the the skill points here. Is there a function on string or a method on string telling us the number of occurrences of a certain character? Let's let's Google for that. Java count occurrences of char in string. What does stack overflow tell us? Stack overflow is good. Yeah, okay, I can do this with string utils, but string utils is Guava probably or Apache Commons, I'm not sure. So this is not what I wanna do. Yeah, actually this time I could uh, no, that's what I tried in the beginning and it did not work out at all. It actually broke my code. This uh, the, the solution, the length comparison. And then here I have the solution I currently implemented, which works of course, but it's not the not the thing to do. I could do it with a yeah with the rec apps replace again length comparison we could do split and count the number of elements no that's not what I gonna want to do this is the recursive variant which is really ugly this is even wow this is a long one is long one no 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 I don't want I don't want to do that don't want to do that so the only thing the only other thing I've, I've seen now uh, that is different from what I have here or at least not more complicated is not re not using replace all but using actually replace because we have a character here. How was it? How's the input? Uh, no, it's it's still using string string, but it's using replace. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but I'm going to try it anyways. So I have the string dot length length, and I'm subtracting string replace a by nothing and taking the length from that is that going to work or is that again going to break the uh, the execution no at least it's going to it fulfills some of the things and yes this is it nice one so just for the sake of cleaning this up, I'm going to throw out these other alternatives. Funnily enough, again, the optimal solution is not exactly containing a loop. I mean, of course, internally he's somehow looping probably over the contents of the string, but it's not loop I'm using here. But anyways, I captured the code. 
I, by the way, uh, unlocked Sector 3, but of course I'm going to uh, complete Sector 2 before I continue on to Sector 3. Okay, next problem here. I have again a string and a character at position X. Oh, uh, sorry, a character X. And I'm supposed to return a number, a number, a number. <clears throat> From the test examples, if there's a D, I'm supposed to return 5, which is the number of Ds occurring. If I have A, I'm supposed to return, again, the number of A's. Okay, so this time, do I have this still copied? Oh, that's nice. Um, so this is actually like this, right? Does this fulfill the contract? Let's see. Yes, it fulfills that one and it fulfills probably also the other ones and it's going to tell me that I don't have the maximum skill rating and of course uh, what I'm going to do now is do the exact same thing as I did on the last one say string length minus string replace x by nothing does this work? this is character I cannot hand in the character, I can, but I can do it like that I know it's cheated. I can probably even can I cast or say character dot two string or something? Should be possible. Character two string length. Just do it like that. Does this work? Yes. And I reached the maximum skill rating. Okay. Is there another? task. No, actually that completes sector 2, the loops. As promised, I managed to finish it in the second episode uh, on the sector 2 loops. And I'm going to end this let's develop content here, continuing with the second loop sector next time. See you around!